Good morning to you. Welcome to Pittsburgh Today Live. I'm Christine Sorensen. I'm starting off in the kitchen today where we are shaking things up for Mother's Day with our friends from the Milkshake Factory. They've got some one-of-a-kind shakes for one-of-a-kind moms. We're going to make those in a moment. But first, talk about good vibrations. Here to talk about shaking up something special for mom this Mother's Day are Chris Edwards and his sister Dana Edwards-Mantos of the Milkshake Factory and Edward Mark Chocolates. Welcome back. Thanks for having us. Yeah. This is great to be here again. So this is a perfect time to start your Sunday brunch with Mother's Day. It's right. We're, we have, we've had so many um, exciting things for the summer coming up at the Milkshake Factory. And one thing that we're kicking off the summer with is on Mother's Day, we're launching our Milkshake Brunch. And it's going to be every Sundays from 11 to 2. And we have all brunch-inspired milkshakes, which is really fun for the family and everybody to come down and check out the That's different milkshakes. That's a great idea. How would you come up with a milkshake brunch? I mean, people think of eggs and waffles. Yeah, well, you know, we have so many. There's so many, um, you know, there's a lot of brunch is such a great thing for for the weekends for people to come in different restaurants and of course we wanted to share our part of that and we came up with all brunch inspired shakes like blueberry pancake banana nut muffin which we're going to make for you today uh -huh. and applewood bacon which is actually Ooh. a bacon shake which is actually pretty interesting that you know it's an interesting flavor and a lot of people really love it so interesting yeah. i like it and you this started with a happy hour that you had is that right yeah we have um we did happy hours every wednesday from four to six in the evening and that became so successful that we had this milkshake happy hour we got a lot of really um, we had a lot of interest from it from around the city so we decided to launch milkshake brunch and now we're going to try this out for the summer and see how it goes wonderful well dana do you want to start our milkshake yes making? i'm going to start we're not, i'm going to start the banana nut muffin shake and okay. while i start getting things ready chris is going to get the ice cream out of the freezer okay. yeah that's right yeah. Awesome. And so right now we're going to start with uh four ounces of milk and you uh -huh. want to use uh you want to use whole milk okay uh a nice good quality whole milk um we're going to add uh, a little bit of butterscotch um, and so about a half of an ounce. You guys must have fun creating these. Do you just play around in the kitchen? Yeah, yeah. it's really fun. We actually do. We have our test kitchen at my parents' home, and we all come in, and the whole family sits around, and we try different flavors, and then we go back to the milkshake factory and have all the girls, all the, you know, all the employees and everybody there at the uh -huh. milkshake factory trying them out and sampling them, and oh, everybody fun. rates it and see what they like the best. So. Neat. Yeah, it's, yeah, great. it's, it's great. really fun. It's a fun family thing to do. I, I have bet. To say. And speaking of family, we've got a photo of your mom because, of course, we're talking about Mother's Day, and she's yes. really a part of the generations of this chocolate company, Yeah, right? she has been um, the, you know, the core of this business and her and my father, of course, over the years have really run the company for 40 years and then my mom has really been involved in every step along the way and really taught us everything we know and, you know, she's been such an integral part of teaching us not just the recipes but how mm -hmm. to actually run a business. So it's been really great. She's, we've been family owned and operated um, for 90, for 98 years and all along the way it's been by women in our family do, so from neat. starting with our great grandmother. And I hear, speaking of running the business, she's back there right now. So you guys she can is. be here. She is. We're here and she's at the store. So she's take, she's holding down the fort there to and get getting the milkshakes ready for the day. If people haven't been, it's on the south side. Yep, in mm -hmm. the south side um, on 17th and East Carson. And okay. that's the milkshake factory. That's our main retail store. And we also have our factory over in Trafford. Wonderful. All right, so I saw you added some banana So we slices. added some fresh banana. And that's the key. Mm -hmm. The key to this is the ingredients. So add some fresh banana, um, some really high quality uh, ice cream. So we did uh, eight ounces of butter pecan, Ooh. about a half an ounce of our um, butterscotch syrup, some cinnamon and fresh banana, and then the whole milk, about okay. four ounces of whole milk. And the fresh banana, and put, adding in any fresh ingredients that you can is always great into the milkshake, uh -huh. so it's really important to do that. And as you can see, Dana, we have our milkshake mixer here that we brought down from the milkshake factory. Dana, it's really important to have a hand-spun milkshake. If you can do it this way, of course, at home you can always make it in a blender, but at the milkshake factory, we use these mixers, which is really a little it's, bit more ice cream it's it's a hand it's called hand spun and it's a, the best way to really aerate the milkshake oh. and really make a better flavor cool yeah and so these are all made to order right whatever you all decide. made to order made to right order. there and that's what's so great we have we have a really great um, menu yeah, on I Sundays gonna mention and a couple of these other ones here on the list I love this uh, morning roast because I love chocolate coffee ice cream yeah coffee, coffee with an cream. Irish with uh, it's like it's like an it's an Irish cream syrup in there Ooh. so it's a really great flavor oh brings out the flavor of the coffee espresso and chocolate yep. ice cream yep, okay it's wonderful. strawberry parfait what's in that one we have granola fresh strawberries some yogurt in there it's just really tastes like I mean all of these 
when you but when you eat any of these milkshakes, it really tastes like what it's called. The dessert, yeah. yeah. And uh, cinnamon swirl. Yes, with some toffee mm. syrup in there, and that's something that really makes our um, is makes our milkshake so popular. Is that we have these um, we have our syrups, our homemade syrups that we put into the shakes. Oh, wonderful! Oh my goodness, look cream. how we'll great this looks. on this. Yeah, I was trying uh -huh. to. I, I remember one time I got the uh, whipped cream all over my <laughs> yes. face, but this looks delicious. Get straw in there. Mmm. So that's the banana hey, nut fresh muffin. Fresh banana is good. Fresh banana, and then you Isn't have the so butter right pecan now. gets that a little bit of that cake the flavor, nutty the flavor. Nutty flavor. Yeah. So it tastes just, oh tastes my just like a banana muffin. I Chris, do you want to do the bacon? Yeah, I'm going to get on the bacon shake because it's really quick. We can mm. do this. We add in eight ounces of vanilla ice cream. So when you're doing this at home, it's really important to do a really hard. Uh, make sure that the ice cream is really comes right out of the freezer. Okay. We put eight ounces of that. We're going to do oh, I see you have a both tiny vanilla bit on the other side. Well, yeah, we have vanilla on the other side. I thought you said butter pecan ice cream. And we're just going to take a some of you just take any like a real maple syrup and just do uh -huh. about a half an ounce of maple syrup in there and then what we're going to do once we put in that we're going to add in it's a apple we did we did we made an applewood bacon and make it uh, just finely chopped extra crispy bacon and we're going to add that right into the shake oh my goodness and that is going to be um, make, give you that flavor and we're going to add four ounces of milk mm -hmm. and then we are going to make this in the hand sponge shake and how many different flavors do you guys have on a regular day outside With, of the park? We have 55 flavors of milkshakes. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so we use our, our great grandparents' old fashioned flavor recipes, their syrup recipes to create all mm -hmm. our shakes. And that's what really makes the, is the key to make these good, these really great Neat. shakes. Yeah. And while you're there, you can find all the wonderful chocolates as well. Yes. We didn't even get to the chocolates. Mother's Day is a perfect Whoa, time for chocolates. Yes, we have a lot of Mother's Day chocolates. One of our mm -hmm. best sellers for Mother's Day are pecan caramel terrapins, which is a turtle. Which one's that? Oh, a turtle. Um, and those okay, are these terrapin. right here. Yeah, and um, that's that's one item oh, we're featuring. We also nice. have our uh, Mother's Day truffles. Is that what these are? That's what those are right there. It's also a piece of them. So we have a couple gorgeous. of them with the flowers on them. And oh, they just, that is they go, beautiful. Moms love them. And I love these little flowers, too. They're fun that you're looking at. That you're looking at here. It's like a whole bouquet. Yes. Yeah, and that's the nice thing. Flowers. And we do a lot of those for special events, even weddings. I know you're having a wedding segment mm -hmm. later, and so people put those, give those out for, or make bouquets out of them as opposed to flowers or roses or daisies. That is fun. Mm, All right. Great. great. And so here's the bacon shake. We might okay. want to do, do a straw in this yeah, for you so you can do that. that. Thank and then you. you can get some All right. Well, I'm, well, let me taste first. You really get that bacon flavor. Ooh. Yeah. See, I like great. salty. Yeah. That's yeah, that's good. I love really the bacon good. in there. A little crunch in there. Very yeah. fun. Oh, yeah. my goodness. So creative. All right, Chris, I want to hear about your role in the Sarah Palin, not just uh, real life, but now the made for TV version of I know. On HBO. It's been really wild. My, um, my, uh, I, previous to the to the chocolate and ice cream I of course work in politics and mm -hmm. I was Sarah Palin's deputy chief of staff and now our entire campaign experience has been uh, played out in a movie on HBO and what um, has it game been change. like game change yep, yes and it's gotten change. a lot of press yep. uh, big time big name uh, celebrities in the show what's it like to see so, I mean you were a big part of that campaign and there you're a big yep, part was, of the movie I was Sarah Palin's deputy chief of staff and um, of course there's somebody that plays me in the movie and it's been a really it was really uh, it was it was you you really get a good feel of all the highs and lows that we experienced during the campaign and you know it, you have to remember it's a Hollywood movie um, and at the same time you really understand what we went through at the convention where Sarah Palin gave her uh, her convention speech and we were on such a high and then uh -huh. all through the Katie Kirk interview and as we went through the rest of the campaign and it really was um, an interesting amazing experience being a part of the campaign and just um, Sarah Palin's uh, you know time there as the vice presidential mm -hmm. candidate. Who played you in the movie? So Larry Sullivan um, is an actor. Um, he lives in L.A. He's from, you know, and CSI. Um, uh -huh. He has a reoccurring role in CSI and a few other shows. And what he, was it we, like to see someone play you? On yeah, TV? it was really interesting. We did, we talked a lot before the movie, and then um, I was oh, he did a technical. Speak with you about yeah, we talked about the movie a lot, and then um, I was uh, the tired as the technical consultant for the film, which was really oh. a really amazing experience being on set for the two months of filming. They filmed huh. in Baltimore, and um, and it was like getting to really know all of the actors and the personalities involved and then watching them really trying to recreate something that we experienced mm -hmm. in real life was really special. Did they use your real name in the show? Or yep, they, yeah. and, yep, Chris Edwards was the character as the deputy wow. chief of staff and they had of course Nicole Wallace, Steve Schmidt, they had um, Mark Wallace who's Nicole's husband was on the campaign and okay. all the other characters involved and then Julianne Moore and Woody Harrelson did an amazing job playing Yes, there. that's right, Julianne Moore played Sarah, Sarah Palin. W was it true to reality would you say? Um, I would say the, the 
film, you have to, like I said before, it's, you really have to remember it's a Hollywood dramatization, but you, and it's a film, it's a film, but you really get an experience of what we went through on the campaign. Interesting. All right. Well, so many dimensions to the milkshake factory that go yeah, way past, right. but what a great family history. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for having us. Come down to the milkshake factory and see us down there. So. Especially for brunch. Sunday brunch yeah, now. Brunch starts this Mother's Day. And tell Sunday. me the hours one more time. Uh, it's every Sunday from uh, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Thank okay. you all. Thanks. All right. So again, come celebrate Mother's Day at the Milkshake Brunch. It's starting this Sunday at the Milkshake Factory on Pittsburgh's south side on Carson Street. Edward Mark Chocolates is now offering the Milkshake Brunch Sundays 11 to 2 through Labor Day, as well as their famous chocolates you can buy while you're there.